In the Alpha Model days, we had a system that was very similar. And as a young lieutenant, I wanted to be the best front seater that I could be. So I was on this system, uh, a, sim a system similar uh, on my free time. And when we went to the Delta models, a system like that, like this doesn't exist. We were getting feedback instantly that said, hey, this Apache is very complicated aircraft to operate, so there is a uh, skill fade. If you can make a small trainer that trains the button pushes, it's a perishable skill. Went back to the lab with our guys and said, this thing has to be smaller, cheaper, faster, better, and that's how the AGT came about now. But over the years, it had been just a, a trade show kind of a um, demonstration type of thing and just on the feedback over all those years and all of the uh, operators that went overseas said, boy, we can really use this. That was enough motivation for me to say, guys, we gotta get this to the warfighter, whatever it takes. So we were originally tasked with the goal of getting the entire system under 50 pounds and to fit within a Pelican case. So working with the previous design, there was a lot of excess cabling, power supplies, you know, power strips, that kind of stuff kind of just adhered to the back of the stand. So we took that and we developed a custom enclosure made from uh, carbon fiber polycarbonate. It's a lightweight, high strength material that's 3D printed in house. We wanted it to be pretty straightforward to the point where you wouldn't even need instructions to sort of figure out how it would get put together. Um, I'd say somebody could do it in a couple minutes. Um, once they've done it a few times, probably as fast as a minute. The best thing is that allows you to engage targets and practice your gunnery and learn from your mistakes without having to use the expense of an actual aircraft. It allows you to go through switchology to get really good at knowing where those switches are so that whenever you're in combat and you're engaging targets, you can make selections without having to take your eyes off the target and be confident that you know that you're engaging with the right weapon system. Many years ago, when I kind of first started in this business, it was all about making things larger uh, and more grand, uh, more to scale, uh, the actual aircraft. Lately, there's been a trend in the DOD to take those training devices and make them more port portable, uh, make it so that they're at the point of need, uh, meaning that you can put it into a, a Pelican case or, a, or a, a shipping container and ship it to a forward location and then the people there can break it out of the box and train with it right there. Um, and that's what the AGT is, is bringing to the fight, is that you know out there at the point of need, people will be able to train on it without spending those valuable blade hours to do it. It can be an international gunnery type of scenario where Fort Hood could be against Fort Campbell, who could be against Fort Lewis or Fort wherever, uh, all from your home station if this thing could go to the cloud that we can have a top gun competition where we could see who is the best. It could be a great prep tool before you go to the range. We can make a database that's similar to your range or something that's a little bit more challenging so it can scale up and scale down depending on your proficiency level, uh, how hard you want it to be for someone at Fort Rucker who's a, a new student, a new pilot, that can be relatively easy. But then when you get into something more complicated, uh, you can make the terrain more difficult, you can make the enemy situation more difficult, you can have a shoot or don't shoot rules of engagement scenario. So it's, it's unlimited based upon your imagination. Well, it starts out from, from left to right, you have a student uh, student station where you get to look at all the scores. So, so if you're a company commander or instructor pilot, you can kind of go into this and log in and see where where everybody is racked and stacked, how much time that they spent on it, how much what their scores have been. Uh, there's a switchology mode where you you know there's so many button switches and knobs. You're going through this and you're, you're just it's like doing a, a a PT test. You're just going in there and just okay, I need this button, this button, this button, and it's scored. So. There's a competition there to see who can find the button switch or knob the fastest. Uh, there's the gunnery mode, which is single station when you're just by yourself doing gunnery, or it's a linked mode when you go back and forth with your wingman. So if you want to practice attack weapons teams, a team of two uh, going on a mission, uh, you can send each other messages, you can send each other uh, threat reports, you can do an FCR scan, send those. Uh, Link 16, you can send uh, messages back and forth, so it's great for that. And then you have uh, the, the Thumb Force Controller game because uh, that's truly what it is. It's just uh, keeping teaching the, the, the new person how to keep the thumb force controller uh, on the uh, on the target.
What I like the best is the free play version, which allows me to pair with another AGT and practice doing dual uh, ship maneuvers and passing targets and practicing uh, not just single ship operations, but dual shop operations. It's a platform to deliver at the point of need, uh, instruction, training, whatever it is, uh, as it changes so it's an Xbox, so to speak, and titles can come out on it that would help the warfighter when they need it at, in, at the place they need it. Taking a simulation, packing it into a, a compact device like the AGT is, uh, and allowing the uh, soldiers to train their skills using the SAGT um, is, is, is um, uh, leading edge technology.